Look how much more festive. Ready, watch. Not Vlogmas. Vlogmas. Look at how upset Dobby is. This is my first ever Christmas card. This is from one pass of this carpet. I'm realizing there's no reason for me to hold on to clothes that I no longer fit. Whether they be too big or too small, it's okay to let them go. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is falling. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand you read me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas. Good morning, everybody. I think we've made it to day 19. Duncan, I don't know how we're gonna finish this. I'm not quite sure how much of my face you can see, but I feel like the life has been sucked out of me. And for a good reason. Vlogmas is a good cause. But the past three or four days, I have been a complete zombie, and I'm starting to notice the quality of my videos going down because of it. And also, I'm just not interacting as much because of it. In my mind, I'm just trying to make sure I don't fail you guys. So to Today is Sunday. I woke up at 7 to finish editing today's video and I can't finish it. Not right now. So throughout the day today, I'm just gonna slowly get that video done when I have time. I need to be very intentional today. Thinking positive thoughts, treating myself good. I need to pour into my own cup today. I feel like I've been pouring into everyone's cup, but the last week I haven't been pouring into my cup. You could pour food into my cup. There's a lot of things that happen on Sundays that are supposed to be like reset things. And maybe we can set ourselves up today for a good week. Cause this next week is the last week of our and I want to enjoy it because I love Vlogmas and I love Christmas time and it's the last week of the Christmas season. We need to buckle in and get our shit going down the right road. If you've been feeling funky this past week, I'm in the same boat with you. I'm going to try and use today to turn that around because otherwise the next week of my life is just going to feel miserable. And that's not what this is supposed to feel like. Are you ready to get out of bed? That's Dobby telling us it's time for breakfast. <laughs> down here so fast. <sighs> Let the tiredness out of you. If I don't feed the cats right now, they're gonna kill me. Sometimes I actually do fear that my cats are gonna murder me one day. Maybe my fellow cat owners understand. Wait, what is this? How did the treats end up on the ground? And why is there holes in the bag? Dobby, was that you? I am offended you think I would do such a heinous crime. I'm trying to sweet talk me into not being mad. My cats love to act as though they've never been fed a single time in their entire life. I always used to feed my cats dry food. I switched them to wet food. And ever since I did that, they've just been retaliating, which makes no sense because wet food is fancier, but apparently not good enough for them. The other day when I was not thriving, I cleaned up my pantry. It looks way better. You gotta wait. The kids eat before mom eats. That's just how it goes. No, Dobby, you have to wait. When Stiggers got sick, the doctor told me that cats live in a constant state of dehydration because of their tongues. No. Oh. Damn it. So I guess feeding them wet food helps with that. Or so I was told. And my cats just aren't having it. Donkey's still on a diet. Here's your food. Look how well trained he is. Play. Hey. Cocaine. Okay. I'm such a proud mom. My options for breakfast this morning, yogurt parfait. I could have oatmeal. I guarantee you when Mama Kelly gets up, the first thing she's going for is these donuts. For some reason, oatmeal sounds good. Should I just eat it? I also want a piece of cinnamon sugar toast. Never used this thing before. My pink toaster that I had in Florida got shorted out or something from a storm because I had it plugged in. The biggest waste of money ever. I'm pretty sure that toaster was like $300. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Making toast. I've been doing a lot of DoorDash. Yesterday, me and Mama Kelly went and got some groceries. DoorDash is just so easy when you're busy, but it's incredibly expensive. So instead I got some bread, I'm gonna have myself a little bit of toast. That smells unused. Oh, she's smoking already? I would make my coffee first, but I've realized that coffee on an empty stomach kind of makes me a little nauseous. If you're a health nut, look away because I'm using country crock. I've noticed the girthier my breakfast is, the less I binge throughout the day. Real toasty. 
I never listen to the directions for how much water to put in because I like my oatmeal a little bit dry. I know that's gross. I just want it to look like soup. Can you see? I waited too long and now the butter isn't gonna melt. Ew, why does it look like that? I just think it's not done cooking. Life hack on always having melted butter. Put it in the microwave. I usually just use cinnamon and sugar for this. I got this cinnamon toast crunch cinnadust. I want to smell it. It smells right. This is literally probably just cinnamon and sugar, but they put cinnamon toast crunch on it so they could charge me probably $5. Somebody's awake. I'm gonna have waffles. I was wrong. I told them that you were gonna have hotter donut. That's gonna happen also. Let's try this. That is so good. I can't be the only one that ate that growing up. Normally I would cut them up, but I don't feel like it. We're gonna eat them as is. Let me try this oatmeal quick because it looks mushy and disgusting. It's really hot. Look over there for a second. You didn't see anything. I got a table tray and I'm sitting on my couch. My favorite place to eat is my couch. I feel like growing up we always ate on the couch with TV trays. I have toast, strawberries, and oatmeal. I mean, it could be worse. The oatmeal is to fill me up. I'm also gonna try and drink this entire 40 ounce water bottle before I have any coffee. I've told you guys to buy this cup probably like four times now. And I guess I haven't told you what the cup was because I saw some comments from people saying like, okay, I'll get the cup. But what is it? It's a Stanley cup. But, uh, but a bunch of you guys are telling me that Simply Modern made one. And it's essentially the same thing and I guess it's cheaper. So you should probably buy that one. Mm. I forgot cinnamon sugar toast existed. I like it, Picasso. Strawberry action. These are out of season, but they'll do. Comment your favorite thing that you ate today below. I need ideas on different foods to eat, so I stopped eating the same things all the time. Good morning. I'm sitting here having my breakfast. Two blueberry Eggo waffles with lots of butter and some syrup. I said I want an Eggo, bitch. And then I have some Hostess donuts, a little powdered sugar action going on. Love me a donut. And then that's it. Duncan, you already had breakfast. He's just my buddy. I need Eggo now. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, I hate children. I'm walking around, feeling free, thinking a little chilly outside, not gonna lie. I was out there for two seconds and I'm already looking like Rudolph. I wanted to show you guys something that I got in the mail yesterday because it made me really happy. I got a PR package from Way. It's a snowflake and then it opens up. If you've been watching my videos, I've told you probably like six times that I have a dandruff problem recently. I just need to go back to a dermatologist and get it checked out because my mom has some skin conditions. Do you have psoriasis, scalp psoriasis? Yes. I'm assuming that can be genetic. And every time my mom has any type of skin issue, about a year later, I get the same skin issue. So it's like my body sees it happen to her and is like, let me catch up. I'm not gonna say I have scalp psoriasis. I don't know that I do. But they sent me their dandruff shampoo. It says this gentle shampoo formulated with salicylic acid helps reduce flaking, itching, and irritation. Mine doesn't itch, thankfully. It looks like this. I'm excited to try it. I need to wash my hair tonight, probably. Does it smell bad? It smells good. I've been using this blue one. I don't know what it's called. I'll insert a picture. That's what I've been using. I don't know if it's been helping or not. We're gonna give this a try. I love Whey. I have so many things in my bathroom from them. My favorite sugar scrub, which I'm pretty sure can be used as a scalp scrub too, is from Whey. So, that was a little bit more aggressive than I wanted it to be. I just wanted to show you that before I forgot because it is so special. I really want to make my coffee, but I'm not done with my water. Chug, 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 chug. How much farther? You know, we tried. It's like down here. I don't know what happened this morning. I woke up with the fire of life in me. Well, that's a lot. I woke up and tried to edit. Was not having it. But here I am. The life is returning. These beans are probably so stale. Considering what the sink looks like, I should probably not be trying to get artsy shots. But here we go. Will you guys let me know when you're tired of seeing me make coffee? I feel like making coffee for me is like self-care at this point though. Duncan's in the middle of his morning play session with Dobby. If you guys hear that, you're gonna have to ignore it. Well, 
I almost forgot to put the syrup in the cup first. That way the shot doesn't go stale. We risk spending all day in the bathroom just to use regular milk. This definitely might make me sick. It doesn't smell bad. A little bit of heavy whipping cream and more peppermint for some peppermint cold foam. And we have a new frother, so I don't have to use whatever the contraption on the machine is. You guys were telling me that's a coffee steamer. Just wait. I'm gonna put sprinkles on top. How fun is this? How cute. Did I get extra long ones? Let's try it. She's not too shabby. Saves me like eight bucks from Starbucks too. We just cleaned this kitchen like two days ago, but somehow she's already messy. From our cookies, the dishes need to be done. So I'm gonna do what makes me be more productive and that is start a time lapse on my phone. That way I'm not able to grab my phone because our phones are our biggest distractions. I will stand by that. You don't have to post it anywhere. Anyone can do this. I think it's a fun motivation to get stuff done. Cleaning your house and getting everything in order on a Sunday is always good. <laughs> I need it to not be dark anywhere in my house today. Just found out that we're gonna go to Top Golf, swing some clubs, hit some balls. It's 10:23 and we're going at 11. So I need to change and get ready really fast. I probably should at least wash my armpits under my boobs and my punani. Oh my god, I'm just sweating. Let's just turn on the cool air. Everyone else can suffer. Sorry. On my night routine, I saw you guys tell me that I'm not supposed to use this at night. It's supposed to be used during the day or in the morning. Let's just sit here for a moment. I'll use it some more later. This is what you have to do when you have two cats and a dog that sheds a lot. You want me to wear a pair? Mm -hmm. Which one do you Are want? You serious? You're not gonna wear a headband? Look how much more festive. Ready, watch. Not Vlogmas. Vlogmas. Oh Would you wear a pair of headband? Sure. Ha! My mom will tell you to be left out. Oh, that makes me sad though. She I'm just good. denied that. I'm good. Hi, good morning. Right. She's the reason we get free Top Golf. Oh, it's free? Yeah. Yes! 50% off food and drink too, no alcohol. See, this is Vlogmas. Hit as hard as you can as far as you can. That was really good. Not my best game. You're the best golfer you've ever seen. Great job, Samantha. That was a good warm up. Oh my god. That was on the surface. We're choosing health and I got water. I'm choosing healthy and I got Diet Coke. 10 out of 10. Two thumbs up. We laughed because Mama Kelly started to do good and I can't have that. I can't have her beating me. I don't know if you guys remember this, but I've talked about this place a few times in vlogs throughout the past year. It's called a shop of things. If you guys have seen my bedroom, this store emulates, is that a word? Yes. My bedroom. Mama Kelly wants to go and we still have our hats on and you're still not festive. My rosy red cheeks are like Santa's. You strangely remind me of Santa. Mmm. Suspicious. <laughs> Christmas card pictures. We picked it up from Walgreens. She had to edit Harlow and Duncan into this picture. Look at how upset Dobby is. This is my first ever Christmas card. Two thumbs up. Very happy about it. Time to switch to the earmuffs because we're going to the park. It's a beautiful day outside and Mama Kelly has never seen the Parthenon. Parnathion. I've lived here for months and I still don't know how to say it. It's in Centennial Park. That's where I walk Duncan all the time. We're gonna take her there just because today is a beautiful day. I wanna enjoy the weather because all I've been doing is asking for sunny weather for the past three weeks of my life. Does Pepto work for acid reflux? It wouldn't be bad. Is that what heartburn is? Yeah. Cheers. Gulp, 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 gulp. So good. Are you ready to go to the park? You ready to go to the park, Mommy Kelly? I am. I'm so excited to go to the park.
that goose is hissing. I'm gonna just try to sneak past these geese. Ah, ah. No, Duncan. Duncan, do not get in a fight with the goose. Later. The sun is set, meaning it's only a matter of time before our nighttime anxiety kicks in. Or maybe it won't happen tonight. I just edited for an hour, and I was able to finish the video, so it is public. You guys can go watch it. It's kind of early to be eating dinner, but I'm very hungry. But it's also too late to call it lunch. It's dinner. I don't really know what we could have for dinner. I can hear Mama Kelly withering away over there on the couch. Make withering away sounds. See, I have to figure it out. She's not driving. Help me. Tomorrow, Mom Kelly is gonna make us lasagna because Sam will be home. Sam is at work, so we don't want to make it and have Sam miss the one thing Mom Kelly knows how to cook. Hello. Dinner. DoorDash about to order myself a big old salad from Chopped Salad. And then I remembered that when me, Mom, and Kelly went grocery shopping yesterday, I got myself this Chopped Caesar salad kit. So there's literally no reason for me to order one from Chopped. I have this insane craving for grapes. Hey, bum, bum, bum. Got any grapes? I don't know why. You cannot have one, Duncan. I usually don't keep grapes in the house just out of the fear that he might eat one, but I really needed these grapes. Don't worry, we ordered Mama Kelly a pizza. I'm not neglecting her. Bon appetit. If I vacuum three times a week, it still looks like this. I can't be the only pet parent that experiences that. If you want a corgi, just know they shed really bad. I was in my closet earlier trying to decide clothes that I want to keep and clothes that I need to get rid of. I have a closet in my room that I have pretty much not gone in since I moved in. A lot of these dresses were in that closet. I'm realizing if I have something that I haven't touched or haven't worn, why am I keeping it? I went through and found a bunch of dresses that I don't want anymore and I'm gonna sell them. They're gonna be up on my Depop. I put them all on this clothing rack and I'm in the hallway because there's not room for this in my room right now. By the time you're watching this, they will be up. There's a ton of different dresses. This is from Forever 21. I'm obsessed with this dress. I haven't worn it because I went through a phase where I thought that this tiny little strap right here was gonna hold up these. My boobs sag to my toes and strapless bras don't fit my side fat. So in no world was this gonna work for me. And I hope whoever buys it actually wears it because this dress is fucking cute. Like, are you kidding? The scallop hem, this one makes me sad. Unfortunately, when you gain weight, some of your clothes do not fit you anymore. And I used to hold on to clothes in hopes that they were gonna fit me again. I think I've learned that's just a toxic thing to do to my brain. Like it makes me feel bad that I don't fit in something. I'm realizing there's no reason for me to hold on to clothes that I no longer fit in. Whether they be too big or too small, it's okay to let them go. This one does make me sad though because I'm obsessed with this dress. This is a tight bodycon princess poly dress. Same strap situation. This is only in here because I have nowhere to wear this. It's a very long, I don't know if you can tell the material, but it's a princess poly dress. A one shoulder, very heavy, very good quality. This is just a loose Madewell t-shirt dress. Do I want to sell this? Sure. Like there's so many cute ones. I typically donate most of my clothes or bring them to thrift stores, which I think is considered donating. But you guys are constantly asking me to sell my clothes. I need to make a public service announcement though. If you decide to shop my Depop shop, you can not. I repeat, cannot use PayPal to check out. The first time this happened to be on Depop, I thought it was like an error. So I made a whole new Depop account. And for some reason, when anyone checks out with PayPal, it says that my PayPal isn't verified, but it is verified. And I cannot get your shipping label to ship it out to you. So I have to cancel it and you won't get the item. So if you're gonna shop the Depop, do not use PayPal, please. It's such a hassle to try and figure it out. I've since learned that that is just an issue Depop has. There's a whole forum of people struggling with the same issue. So it's not just me. Make it easier for me and make it easier for you. And don't use PayPal. You've taken a lot of naps today. Bitch, 
I've retired to my room. Today so far has been the best day that I've had, a week and a half. I've had lots of really fun moments over the past week as an overarching day. Today was really freaking good. Mentally, I feel totally reset. I don't know how or why. I haven't done anything crazy today. The only difference between today and yesterday was my mindset. I've been so tired and so over it. I spent four, five, six days in a negative mindset. And today I woke up and decided to have a positive mindset. And would you look at that, I had a good day. I'm sure it won't always be that easy, but that's how it worked out today. I think before I wind down for the evening, I need to edit because I'm in a really good headspace with editing right now. You don't want to know what my room looks like. My Sunday reset did not include cleaning my room again, but my brain feels very reset. I'm gonna edit. Let's get some work done. Today is a good day to make a kick-ass vlogmas video. It's now one in the morning. I just got so much of this vlog edited. I wasn't expecting that. I think I am gonna end this video just because I'm tired and we're listening to our bodies. But I have been slacking and I've been forgetting comments of the day. But I'm not gonna forget today. Let's see what comments we have. Tessia Fox said, Samantha, you do not put milk in cookies. I didn't know. That was supposed to be Santa's knowledge, not mine. Grace said, girl, you have no idea how much I look forward to these videos every day. I know Vlogmas is stressful and a lot of work but you are making so many people happy i laughed so hard watching this video thank you seriously though thank you the way i edit my videos does take a lot longer than most vloggers probably that are doing vlogmas it's good to know that you guys like it and you appreciate it and you guys are having fun with it it's hard for me to comprehend that there's so many of you out there that are just choosing to spend every single day with me i don't know what you find interesting about what i'm putting out there but i'm trying i'm working on taking compliments better thank you <laughs> i'm going back and reading these right now and it's just a shit ton of you guys being so nice <laughs> listen to this ready you've turned into one of my favorite people i love 2020 i've watched your religiously for the last three years i appreciate all of your hard work only vlogmas have been consistent i can't imagine how difficult vlogmas is but you're killing it you guys are being so nice Caitlin Reynolds said, I just want you to know I personally am very thankful for your vlogmas. My mental health has not been good at all in this season I am in, and just your video alone brings some joy to my day. Thank you for your hard work doing this for us. Whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you're feeling, I got you, Mama Kelly's got you, everyone in the comments has you. I'm sorry your holiday season is not going the way you thought it would. Obviously, I do not know the intimate details of your life. The fact that you're here proves that you're so incredibly strong. I think that we cross paths with everybody in our lives for a reason, so there's a reason that me and you have crossed paths. I want you to know that you are loved and you are accepted and you are appreciated. You're slaying it. I know when I'm having my worst days, it's you guys that pick me up off the ground and make me feel better and, and show me a love that I have a hard time comprehending. Don't you think for one second that I'm not right here willing to give the same thing back to you. I love you. I love each and every one of you watching this video. And I can't believe that tomorrow is day 20 of Vlogmas. Just think about that for a second. Good night. <laughs>